Three years ago, I was diagnosed with fibroids. After four surgeries in two years, I'm finally fibroid-free, and it's been almost a year. This experience has profoundly changed my perspective and reshaped my understanding of health, resilience, and well-being. So in today's video, I'm going to share the evolution of my mindset from the moment I was diagnosed through the treatments and into my life today. It can be an emotional roller coaster. So are you ready to get on this ride with me? Let's get started. I still remember the day back in 2021. I received an early morning call from the doctor's office after a regular checkup. If she has her next period or she just gets a simple paper cut, it can actually drop to critically low levels where she can potentially just die immediately. Uh, that's how serious it is. Obviously, I was shocked and refused to believe it. I thought the doctor was exaggerating or trying to trick me into the ER. But after running some blood tests and getting an ultrasound, it was pretty much confirmed that I had severe anemia. And the reason for that was fibroids. Since my period was getting longer and heavier over time, I was afraid of going out. I couldn't even remember how many pens I threw away because of blood stains. The mixed feelings of shame, worry, and exhaustion made me isolated. I wanted to keep a secret and let no one know, including my family and friends. Then I started doing research online and actively looking for doctors and treatment. After learning that 70% of women will have fibroids at some point in their lifetime, I felt sad and angry because even with this high percentage of cases and data, doctors and medical experts still can't figure out the cause of fibroids. Plus, I had some terrible experiences with OBGYNs and procedures. My patience finally ran out and I officially got into my next phase, which is rage. At that time, I didn't want to hold back anymore. I wanted everyone to know that the hormone control pill sucks, the American medical system sucks, healthcare sucks, being a woman sucks. I think you got my point. If not, check out the videos I made last year about this whole experience. After a year of denial, frustration, and anger, I slowly accepted the truth and current circumstances. Yeah, it is what it is. I started to not only change my diet habits and lifestyle, but also change my attitude and mindset. Like the famous quote said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Finally, in March 2023, the doctor removed all of my fibroids after four surgeries. I still remember the feeling of getting out of the hospital. I wanted to shout, I wanted to dance, I wanted to travel all over the world, which I did. Even though there was a small incident that happened in Australia, I'm still grateful for all of it. Because now I know, this is life. Life is great, you should enjoy it. Today, when I look back at that period of my life, a sense of openness and gratitude comes up. I no longer take my health for granted, and well-being will definitely be my top priority for the rest of my life. I know in a lot of cultures, talking about medical issues in public is taboo. Unfortunately, because of that, a lot of people, especially women, are living in shame and loneliness. So I encourage you to leave some comments and share your story. Let's keep this conversation going and support each other. No matter what you are battling right now, you will get through this. And remember, you are not alone. All right, this is today's video. I hope you find some strength and healing. I love you all. See you in the next one. Bye.